Tamar Muntz, who were arrested after refusing to take a sobriety test. And this isn't the only thing police are focusing on. News 6's Lauren Cervantes has the latest on the investigation. She joins us now, and you spoke to a man who says he knows Mansoor all too well. That's right. I spoke with a man who says Tamar Mansoor killed his brother, hitting him with his car in 2018. And he tells me today that it was difficult hearing that while out on bond, he was arrested again. Will you submit to the test? No. no? Video from the Daytona Beach Shores Department of Public Safety capturing 38-year-old Tamar Mansoor's latest arrest. Police confronted him after receiving an anonymous tip. Officials say he was charged on Saturday with a DUI after he was found sitting behind the wheel sipping from a gas station foam cup, according to the arrest report. I just chalked it up for that's par for the course with this man. Frank Giannazzo says he's upset but not surprised. His brother Richard and Richard's girlfriend died after police say Mansoor hit them with a car and a Coe back in 2018. I mean, common sense tells you this man should not be driving. He's killed two people driving already. And now he just got a DUI where he endangered other people in Daytona Beach on a crowded weekend. It's, it's something that's not going to stop until somebody stops this man. Court records show while Mansoor has been out on bond for the 2018 crash, the state has moved to revoke his bond following Saturday's arrest. I'm hoping that the judge this time will actually stand up and say, no, this man needs to be behind bars until we go to trial or have a resolution to this case. Records also show Mansoor had a plea hearing scheduled four days from now on April 27th, which has been canceled. Another court document includes an email in which the sender claims Mansoor is being investigated for allegations of, quote, excessive alcohol use and other issues, including shooting at his child and actually shooting his girlfriend's child with a BB gun. Meanwhile, Giannazzo says he'd like to see justice for his brother. My mom wanted to see justice. She died last month. So... We've also reached out to the state attorney's office for comment, but have not heard back. For now in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.